how to perform a gear check. In a lot of drop zones, it is mandatory for you to receive a gear check by a staff member before you board the plane. Regardless of how it's done where you jump, it's always good to know how to perform basic gear checks so that you can check your friends, because there's no such thing as too many gear checks. To correctly perform gear checks, it's important that you always do it in the same order and that you follow a certain sequence. My preferable way of doing a gear check goes as follows. I start from top to bottom, I check the jumper's helmet and goggles, then I move down to the three ring system, inspecting its correct assembly and the RSL routing. I keep going down to the chest strap, make sure it's correctly routed and the access is well stowed away. The handles should be in place and the Velcro should be doing its job. You can tug them a little bit to make sure of this. Continuing to go down, we can check the correct routing of the leg straps and the stowage of its access. At this point, I ask the jumper to turn around and while they're turning around, I make sure their altimeter is turned on. At the back, we can check the riser flaps, they're correctly closed. We can kind of check the reserve pin through the side of the flap without actually opening it. Continuing to go down, we can quickly open the main flap and inspect the correct positioning of the pin and that the bridle is correctly routed and hidden away. A quick look at the pilot chute, make sure it's all the way in with no F F111 or ZP sticking out and that the tuck tab is doing its job. To finalize, always ask the jumper, is your AAD on? To which they should answer affirmatively. After this, the jumper should be ready to safely jump out of a plane. And finally, for base jump gear checks, we all know that's for pussies. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.